Hi, this is Colette Campbell again. Today I want to talk about cords and calluses. Most people think that they have had cords and calluses their entire life. It's something you live with. It's something you deal with. 90% of the time that is not the case. Occasionally you can have a genetic predisposition in your life that makes your skin thicker, makes it more prone to calluses. But um, for the most part, calluses and corns are actually caused by your shoes. Typically, it's shoes that are too tight in the toe area, shoes that curve incorrectly based on your foot shape. Um, the easiest thing to do is always make sure that you have a shoe that's got a mitten shape to it and has got a deep toe box. Another thing you can do, and I've referred to this before, is take the insert out of the shoe, put your foot down on it. If your foot sticks out this far past the insert of the shoe, then you're going to have corns and calluses. I'm going to show you two examples in these shoes. This shoe it is, has a lot of curvature to it. If your foot is straighter, then your foot will go and fight this shoe. So your small toes on the outside of your foot will be hitting over here, putting pressure against your foot. What a callus is, is a buildup of your skin on those small toes, sometimes on the side of your foot. If your foot's trying to do this and your shoe's curving this way, you're now fighting your shoe. So all those cutesy little shoes that are very pointed in the toe, very narrow in the toe, are very fashionable, but they do cause pressure on your toes. Um, a shoe like this, which is more of a straight last, is what they call it, if you have a straight foot, you need to have a straight last shoe. That will be sure that the side of it does not hit your little toes, it'll make sure that the side of it does not hit your big toe, and likewise on the end. Some people actually get calluses on the end of their toes. Usually that comes, again, from ill-fitting shoes because your, sm your second or your third toe is longer than your first. And when you have that scenario, you're doing the same thing. You're putting pressure on those toes. Um, so corns and calluses related to each other, but 90% of the time, if you take your shoes off, they will go away. So if you have painful corns and calluses that are rubbing inside the shoe, there's several treatment options we have for that, but the number one thing is gonna be you're going to need to change your shoes. If you don't change your shoes, those will become aggravated. Um, another thing that I'll lead into later, same cause for bunions. So bunions are related to the same thing. So bunions, corns, and calluses, all related to your shoes.